Welcome into the Coach's Show here alongside Coach Matt Brock. I'm Brad Sagan, uh, meaning that we are right here ready for basketball season to start. We're just a couple of days away. It's November 1 as we're filming this. November 4th is the home opener, Coach Brock. Uh, things seem to, to fly by when we get into, uh, into the summer. All of a sudden, it's fall. Your team arrives and you're ready to start playing basketball already. You guys have been working for about a month right now. You've already had a scrimmage under your belt. Talk about where you see the team right now. Um, you know, we're making progress. I don't think we're a finished product by any means. Um, guys are working extremely hard, which is, is the first part of the equation. And, and now we're trying to start um, to clean up mistakes and, and uh, grow uh, where we're at offensively and defensively. Um, but, you know, I like, I like our, our effort level right now. I like um, how um, hard our guys are working. We've put in a good, good preseason. So um, I'm excited about where we're at. You lost a, a guy, a, a very key performer in Will Harrington last year. So the point guard position is going to be very important. Uh, you've got two really great alternatives, Tamari Robinson, who's been here for a while. And then you've got another great player in Fitzgerald Hopkins that people don't know. Maybe they've not seen a lot of Missouri Baptist Conference basketball, but Fitz comes in with a great resume. Talk about both of them. Yeah, I mean, Jamari and Fitz have two, been two of our, our most consistent guys uh, in the preseason, and um, they're kind of uh, both play the point guard position very well and play it differently. You know, Jamari is a, a unique player, can really um, shove the ball down your throat and push it um, and, and penetrate and find, find openings um, and find his teammates really well, and, and Fitz gives you a little more offense um, and can shoot the ball uh, very well and score the ball a little bit. So I'm excited about both those guys. Fitzgerald Hopkins comes to us from Freed Hardman, another conference school, averaged over 14 points a game. Uh, he's the type of player that is going to really take time to really work well into the system, but he's a guy you're really going to rely upon a lot. Yeah, I mean, there's no question. He's, he's a proven um a proven commodity in the AMC, and um, you know we'll look at him, Andrew, um, Johnny, Pablo, a lot of these guys that have, have done it before um, to be to be leaders for us, as well as some of the new guys that have some experience. But um, you know there, there's very little that replaces experience, so we'll definitely um, glad to have him and um, his background. Let's talk about a few guys that have experience on your current team that have been here uh, for the last year at least. Johnny Benson, Pablo Hernandez, and Andrew Howard. All three of those guys, uh, are you looking for all of them just to take a step forward this year? Yeah, I, you know, Andrew and Pablo's season was, was kind of um, abbreviated, you know, to, for lack of a better term. Last year they, they battled both battle injuries for much of the year and, and weren't fully healthy um, until the end of the season. So. Um, I, I'm excited about Pablo. I, I think he could be one of the best offensive players uh, forwards in the league. Um, he can score the ball from, from all over the court. Um, Andrew is probably one of the best defensive forwards in the league, and they, they complement each other nicely. He's had a good summer, stayed here over the summer, uh, worked on campus, and, and was in the gym and the weight room a lot. So I think he's at the top of his game. Uh, and then Johnny Benson, you know, kind of had to play a little out of position last year at the forward spot due to our injuries. Uh, we're sliding him up to the perimeter. So with those three guys, uh, hopefully we can really rebound the ball at a, at a high rate because Johnny led us in rebounding. Um, you move your leading rebounder to a guard spot um, and, and hopefully you can really beat people up on the board. So um, I'm, I'm excited for all three of those guys and, and they've, they've all been practicing well and um, can, you can just tell they've been around, they understand what we're looking for and, and um, trying to guide along these new guys and the freshmen. Uh, into our culture and, and how we do things. You've got a, uh, a great group of new guys. We've had a chance to see them play a little bit. You've got a little bit, a little bit of a mix of local talent of some guys who have experienced in the St. Louis area. And you've got a, some, some guys who are internationals as well. Uh, the two internationals that I really want to talk about, uh, Gary Cosma and uh, Jesus Castillo. Those, those are two really solid basketball players. What have you seen from them so far? Well, it's been an adjustment for them. Um, the speed of the game is different. Um, the, the way the game's played is, is different. The clock's different. It's a 24 second shot clock that they grow up playing with. So um, it's, it's been an adjustment period, but both those guys are, are very skilled. Um, Gary's can really pass the ball. Jesus is uh, one of the best, if not the best shooter on our team um, from three point range. So um, I like both of them to have good size, but again, they're still freshmen. So it's gonna be, there's gonna be a learning curve. So, um, but yeah, I think 
those are two guys that that have a, some have a lot of international experience and and um, give us you know a different uh, a different club in the bag um, to 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 use a metaphor um, than some of the other guys we have. You know, you look at some of these these new guys. You've got a guy like John Yeager, who's a local guy, and you've got some good uh, talent from around Missouri. Talk about some of those guys. Well, um, I like our freshman class. You know. Uh, Starting with those two international guys, um, we call them Gary and uh, Jesus, uh, and then you have John Yeager who has a lot of, of um, ability, and, and we're very excited about his future. Um, he's kind of a forward in high school; is going to kind of transition into a guard spot, um, but he's very aggressive. Um, he's done a good job for us so far. Um, we've got um, Zach Beal, who's a transfer from down in Southeast Missouri was at Maryville last year, redshirted, so he has a year of practice under his belt, but still not a lot of game experience, college experience. Um, very athletic, um, strong uh, inside player that can also shoot the ball from the perimeter. So um, he's going to be, we're excited about him. And then Matt Summer from Nevada uh, has a good background. And then uh, Rick Hill, who will redshirt this year. So we've got six, six really good players in that class. Um, and we're excited about the future headed, going forward, but also excited on what they might contribute um, here immediately this year. When I look at last year's team, I see a team that just, that, you know, their record really didn't indicate how well they played. It was really the end of the game that kind of did them in. But if you look at stats matchup, and you and I talked about this last year, especially at the game against Columbia when we looked at the team stat comparison, they were almost identical. That's a number six team ranked in the country and, and your team. How do you flip that to where those stats really push you toward that top 10 level of a team? Yeah, I, I mean, there's, this is a different team. So it, it's going to be, there's a lot of new faces. So we're going to be different than we were last year. But, you know, last year, we go 1-11 and 11 in games decided by 10 points or less. It wasn't always at the end of the game where we lost it. But, um, you know, you're looking for just a little bit better. Um, in, a, in a few areas, you know, I thought we we didn't um, defend quite as well as we could have at times. Um, effect, our defensive effective field goal percentage was a little high in conference play, um, and um, we didn't shoot the ball quite as well as we could. We, one thing we didn't do is we didn't turn it over. So if we can continue that, that'll help us. Um, but we're gonna. We're, this is a different team, and we're gonna feel feel through this season. Uh, you know, we got to figure out quick because you got your con first conference game on November 16th at Park. And so um, I'm not sure um, if there's any one thing I think we can, we can change. If somebody's got a suggestion, you might as well email me at matt.brock at uh, mobab.edu. But uh, we're going to try our best to... Um, be I think you may have opened up a can of worms there. You may get a few, a few reactions. Everybody, everybody, uh, everybody's a good coach from their, from their recliner. But um, we, got, uh, we want to be one of the best defensive um, field goal percentage teams in the country. Uh, that's that's kind of one thing we want to really emphasize this year. And um, you know we're we're going to be a team that that looks to put it inside, pound it inside, and so we want to have a high offensive field goal percentage as well. That's the biggest part of the game when you're talking about what wins games um, is is shooting. You know they keep they keep track of points. They don't keep track of uh, uh, smiles or high fives. So some of you are watching this as the pregame show uh, leading up to the home opener against Baptist Bible College. This is a team that, that you beat last year pretty handedly. Uh, what does a game like this set you up for in the coming weeks? Well, you know, it's, it's just good to get out on the court um, and, and get the lights on and get the uniforms out and have referees and, and get in that game situation. And, um, you know, we, they're, they're a new team from last year, new coach, so we don't know. I'll have a lot to expect they're going to play later on this week, so we'll, we'll know a little bit more about them. But... Um, we're, we're focused on us and we're focused on carrying over what we've been practicing to the game and you know, limiting that game slippage and starting to you know, define our identity um, on the court. So uh, you know, we want to be a tough team. We want to play with a lot of energy. Uh, we want to defend at a high level. Those are, those are things we're looking for. So um, it, it's just, just going to be good to be back in the game situation. So you've got Baptist Bible here today for, for many of you watching this. And then we turn around and you go and go down to Southeast Missouri State and play a D1 school in SEMO. And it's a regular, a regular season game for them. Uh, how do you manage that type of a transition between styles and, and levels of competition? Well, you know, hopefully our approach doesn't change depending on our opponent. I think that's the sign of, of, a, 
of a good team is consistent preparation. You know, no matter if you're, you're um, practicing to prepare for a top 10 team or, you know, a team that's at the bottom of the conference. We want to be us, the best version of ourselves um, every, every time out there. So I, I hope not a lot changes. You know, obviously it's going to be a different, different level of athlete that we're dealing with. Um, I haven't spent much time looking um, at Southeast Missouri. I know they, they, they have a couple exhibitions before before we play them, so we'll get some film on them. But, um, you know, it's a good opportunity for our guys to um, have a chance to play in a Division One arena and play Division One players. And, um, you know, the good thing about playing good teams, even when it's that exhibition, you see what you need to work on. You know, your weaknesses are going to are going to present themselves. And, and so early in the season, we can say, OK, hey, we've got to address this or uh, we need to do this. And, and hopefully gives us a, a battle that mimics um, a, a big time AMC battle uh, on the road. So um, that's that's the purpose of these games. And, um, you know, Coach Ray's um, gracious enough to give us an opportunity to come down there. We're very thankful for that and, and excited. Just about ready to start here. For those of you watching uh, right before the game, Spartans against Baptist Bible College coming up for you here in just a little bit. And we want to thank Coach, uh, Coach Brock for your time. Coach, thanks a lot. Thanks, Brock. Uh, we will be back next week with the week two of the Coach's Show right before the Spartans take on the Red Hawks of Southeast Missouri State. Thanks a lot for joining us.